Ooh, voice cracking? <laughs> Start over. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Today, this video is all about warmers, um, wax melts, and I'm gonna I'm a, um, actually attach this to another video I did that I never post. You know, when we buy a lot of candles, once the wick has burnt all the way down, there's still a lot of wax in the jar. So, today I'm gonna show y'all how to get that wax out, and after you get it out, how to use it. I know y'all yeah, been into candles for a long time, and y'all probably already noticed, but I see a lot of people wasting candle wax. I see a lot of it. I try to use every last bit of my wax. So yeah, also y'all, yeah, before I forget, welcome to all my new subscribers. What's up to the people who've been rocking and rolling with your girl from day one, or if you've been here for a while, thank you for always coming back and checking, checking me out. I really appreciate it. Don't forget y'all, to subscribe because you know some of y'all just be sliding in just looking at the video getting it, and y'all don't even subscribe come on if you keep coming back to my channel and you keep watching my videos you might as well go ahead and subscribe come on let's be for real you might as well go ahead and subscribe so don't forget to subscribe click the thumbs up and leave comments at the bottom y'all let's get this hobby lobby video what is that I'm, i shouldn't even say just hobby lobby let's get this video going y'all all right let's go to the store we're looking for just got out of Hobby Lobby and I got a couple of candle warmers um, and I also got a car diffuser um, yeah you know. but how this work as you see it has a little clip and it has these little oh. little pads right here that you put inside of this and then you just clip it to your vent in your car I thought this was a pretty good idea and that's another way that you could use your essential oils or another way that you could use this instead of buying those um the car diffusers that they sell at bath and body works you can actually open up your um, wallflower refills open them up pour a little bit of that oil on these and put it in your car saving it's just an idea something that's another way of using your wallflowers because that is oil inside of those um refillable things so yeah you can open it up pour a little bit on these little pads and because they're doing the 50 percent off of like candle stuff this came up to two dollars regular price was 4.99 and they actually had the little refill pads too and i think they were a dollar 99 i believe but yeah I thought this was a pretty good thing so yeah I got that I got two of those then I got this this is the um candle wax uh, melt thing candle wax warmer or yeah and as you see you just plug it into your wall and you put your wax on top of it. I'm gonna see how good this works. If it don't work good, I got 90 days to return. But yeah, you just plug it in, turn the switch on, put the, put the wax on top, and there you go. So I think I'm gonna use this in my bathroom. Oh, and the price was $13.99 and with the 50% came out to 
I thought I started to buy this last week and I'm glad I didn't because I really didn't want to spend that $13 on this. But yeah, six I spent seven dollars, not bad. I also got this this warmer, it's a two in one. This is a warmer that you can actually put your candle on top of it. As you see on the, the demo, you can put your candle on top of it or as you see right here, this is a better just demo of it. It's a two in one. You can either put the candle on top of it or you can put the little bowl on top of it and then put wax on it as well. So you could do one or the other. I thought this was pretty good for a two in one. The price of this was $27, 50%, $13.99. And then I said I wanted to try like the cheap candle warmer, which was this one. This is the cheapest one that Hobby Lobby had. Um, the price of this was $6.99, regular price. So it came up to $3.50. And this is just, just the basic candle warmer. Plug it up, turn it on, and that's that, as you see very very basic if you don't want like a fancy one you just want something to sit your candles on and let it go all day this is this is what you need if you don't want to spend a lot of money and now is the time to get it because 350 isn't bad at all and then the last thing i got is the candle warmer with the light it has the led light i believe it has the LED light. Now, this was the most expensive item that I bought. Regular price of this is $44, I believe. Let me find the price, y'all. Yeah, $44.99 was the regular price of this. And as you see, you just sit your candle, you plug it up, and you just sit your candle on top of it, and then the light beams down on it, melting the wax, and then you get the fragrance from that. So, yeah, I thought this was really nice. But the thing is, I hope the bulb is in there. Which I got a feeling it might be. Okay, y'all. I'm home now and I could kind of demo this stuff. As you see, this was the most expensive one, which is um, the one that came with the light. All of these came with directions. All of the one, even the cheap one came with a little, little paper. Um, showing how to take care of it and different things of that nature but as you see this one which is the one with the light it also comes with a led but i think this is an led bulb, but it's just one of these little weird light bulbs like that also as you see you have to put this one together and it doesn't look like it's really hard um it don't look like it might be that hard to put together. And then this is the two in one. It's just set the candle there, or you can put the wax inside the bowl, and it's just a plug and just a little dial to turn it to, you know, turn it on. And it also has this little light in the back that indicates that it's on, that it works. And then we have the actual plug-in warmer as you see it just has an on and off switch take a three prong plug and then the top you just put a couple of pieces of wax on the top and then the cheap one sorry y'all about this stuff if y'all don't know i also have another channel it's an adult beverage channel you can find that channel at kimball renee on youtube or on this platform okay this one is just a plug you just plug it up and on and off switch okay i'm gonna put this one together and then i'll be right back okay i got this one assembled it was really easy y'all super easy wasn't hard at all let's put this one oh also i got a couple of my wax melts from my old candles um this is leaves 
yeah a lot of the wax that I did and I post that video so y'all could actually see this is a lot of wax that we waste in these candles all the time a lot of wax look how much this look how look at this look at all that wax all because the candle just wasn't burning right it's a lot of wax and as well as I have two in here but it's a lot of wax we gotta stop wasting and start using all of our candle wax this is the plug-in and I'm just gonna plug it into this plug right here that's what that will look like turn it on that's actually really really nice and then as you see I just broke this one up and just put a few pieces on top nice okay I'm gonna give a quick review of what I think about these candle warmers um, as you know this is the cheapest one this one was I think six dollars um, this one is okay I don't think it gets the wax hot enough um, the cord is really nice and long that's one thing I do like about it um, you just click this to turn it on and off so this one is just okay um, if you just want a nice reasonable price warmer then this is the one to get if you don't want to really spend a whole lot of money on a warmer this is the one to get um, like I said I personally don't think it gets the wax hot Yes, it does melt the wax, but I don't the wax still be looking a little murky to me. So that kind of tells me it's not getting warm enough. Okay, then the two in one. Um I haven't used the bowl um you know to put wax in to see how that part works, but I have had candles on top of this one and it does fit a regular size candle even though I think it says like 10 ounces I believe I'm not sure the candles melt very good um, they're not murky uh, it melts all the wax um, only thing I don't like about this one is the cord Ooh, the cord is short that's something I I don't like that's the only thing I don't like about this one is that cord is a little bit too short um, but other than that it's nice it has the little the little spin thing to turn it on and off it has the light in the back um, that lets you know that it's on so yeah this one is nice this 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 is a really good like middle ground um, warmer. It melts from the bottom up, same as this one, bottom up. Um, so I mean, like if you don't really want a very expensive one, I would get this one because, like I said, it's a two in one. You can put the candle on there, or you could put wax melt in here. Now, this one, out of all of them, I really like the light. Um, candle warmer has a very nice long cord I got so many cords up here y'all I'm sorry let me slide these over this cord is pretty long and that's one thing I really like about this warmer and then it has just the on and off switch this just has a light up under there and you just sit the candle there I'm going to demo that for y'all and that's it that's what it looks like just like that I'm going to plug it up really quick so y'all can see 
that's what it looked like but the downfall of this what i don't like is how far it's away from the light that's the only thing i do not like it's so far away from the light so what i normally do is I take this bowl I normally take the bowl from the two-in-one wax melt thing and I will sit it up here just so I could be a little bit closer to the light as you see and that's still not even close for me so what I normally do is I take some wax melts which I probably shouldn't be taking the wax melts but this is just what I do Sit that upside down, and then I put the candle under there, just like that. Just so it could be a lot closer to the light. That's the only thing that I do not like about this candle uh, wax warmer, or this warmer. I wish that this could be adjusted, where you could have it either, you could raise it up high, or raise it down a little bit lower now I'm not 100% sure if they make one like that if they do I would love to have it if you know of that leave that at the bottom because I don't know I've never seen one but this is normally how I use this um, warmer um, I do have a, I do have a bigger candle so I mean it works perfect for these Yankee candles as you see it works perfect for the Yankee candles or any other tall candle you know um, so yeah so out of all of these warmers the one that I would recommend, the one I really use a lot is this one with the light. I use this one way more than any other one. The other drawback of this one is if you want to use your candles all night long, this has a light. So that light sucks. <laughs> That's the only thing. When you're using it all night, that light will be on. on. So That's when I use this one. I'll just sit the candle on this and let it go all night long. So that's the drawback. So yeah, this will be my number one. This one will be my number two. And I don't even think I will buy this one. But if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend a lot of money on a warmer, get that one. You can get it from Hobby Lobby for like $3, $3.50, something like that. So yes, y'all, that's it. That's all I could think of to say about these um, warmers. Um, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the thumbs up. Leave comments at the bottom. What kind of warmer are you using? Um, yeah, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.